everyone. Welcome to Canvas Kids. I'm Miss Cindy and this week we are going to be painting a teddy bear. So this is what it's going to look like when you are finished with it or close to it anyway. All right. So first we're going to take our canvas I'm going to take a flat brush. Remember, always wipe off your extra water off your brush so it's not drippy. And I'm going to take plain white paint. And all the places that are supposed to be white, I'm going to do white. It's okay if you get them on the other spots because the white won't show up underneath it. So it's just easier to just go ahead and paint all over even though you don't have to stay in the lines and worry about it because it won't show up. Just make sure you paint it nice and thin. You don't want a big thick coat of paint. So if you can't, if you paint the white and you can't see the lines underneath it, that means you painted it way too thick. You shouldn't see any clumps of paint anywhere. Just keep spreading it out and just cover all the spots that have white. And like I said, it's okay if you go over the parts that aren't white. You'll never know it when you're finished. Just make sure you get all those white parts. And this way too, you don't have to worry about staying in the lines for this one and make it a lot easier and quicker to paint. Okay, so once your teddy bear is all white, any place it is supposed to be, if you look sideways at it, sometimes you can see where the shiny spots are to see if you missed anything. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the brown part of the teddy bear. And probably on the camera, you can't even see where the white parts are because everything's so white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the white. And a little bit of the brown. And it's really going to be up to you on what color you want your brown. You might want it a dark brown. You might want it a real light brown. You might even do your teddy bear a different color. It's perfectly fine. All right, I am going to do it a light brown like that. And then all the light brown parts on the bear are going to be painted in. Got your water from my brush. Okay, I'm gonna start up here with the ears. Just use whatever size brush works best for you. And now this time, you're supposed to stay in the lines. The best you can anyway. Switch to a smaller brush. That one's a little too big for me. And then his nose area. Doing the wrong color. All right, his whole stomach area is also going to be brown.
left with a little bit bigger of a brush for this part. That's okay. Then inside the paws. much paint. If you have too much paint in one place and you can't smear it around there, just try to pick it up with your brush to use it someplace else. So that's what I did. I had too much paint on this paw, so I just took it off and used it on this paw. And then all these little parts of the paw Okay, now this little line right here, you can either leave it blank with no paint on it, or you can use it with the same color just lightly to kind of hide up the tracing mark. It's up to you. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to start the background. So I'm going to use the flat brush. And we're going to make a lighter blue. So I'm going to take some white and just a little bit of blue. Same thing. You could do whatever you want on which, you know, how what shade of it. But the bottom part here, let me show you on my sample. This bottom part's supposed to be lighter, and then what's considered the sky is supposed to be darker. So it's up to you. But that's how I did it. So I'm going to make a light blue for the bottom. And I'm going to paint. Just the bottom part down here. I'm going to turn it so I can reach it better. Try not to go over the line where his paw is. <clears throat> okay. Okay, just finish it off. Your line kind of ends there, but just kind of follow it down. Just pretend like the line continues on. Okay, so now that we're done with the bottom part with the ground, we're going to go back and we're going to do the sky. And the sky is just blue nothing mixed in just plain blue so do the entire sky plain blue
try not to go over the line. Where the bear is. Now I'm going to give this just a really quick coat, not very neat like you should do, but I'm doing it because this way when I'm done, I'll be ready for the next step because it won't be too wet. I'm going to turn this around. So you cover it all the way. I'm just doing it quickly so we could move on and it won't be super wet when I have to do the last step in the background. So go ahead and finish your whole sky being careful around the bear shape and you don't leave any white spots like I am. Make sure it's all covered up. Try not to paint it real thick though because you don't have to. So try to smear out any lumps of paint. Like, see right there, I got a big lump. I'm just going to smear it out. And it doesn't really, like, matter which direction or anything you paint the background of this one. It's just the sky. It could just be whatever, whichever direction you want to go. Like I said, we're going to pretend like mine's covered all the way, though. Okay, last part. Oops. Okay, don't do like I just do. I just went over my line. Just because I was trying to hurry. If you take your time, you'll do a better job. Okay. Now we're going to pretend like my sky is completely done. Okay. So now the next step, you might want to let yours dry for a little bit. Perfectly fine to do that. You're in no hurry anyway. I am going to take the red. I'm not sure what, which order I put it in your instructions, but I am going to do my scarf next. The reason why I didn't do the scarf before is because if I accidentally went over with the blue, we could hide it now with the red. Go ahead and paint your scarf red, or if you have another color you'd rather use, go ahead. I just think the red really looks bright and cheerful on here. I was going to color it a different color, paint it a different color, but I really did decide that the red shows up the nicest. But if you like other colors, that's fine. It's your painting. Okay, so just paint your scarf. I am going to turn this around just because I always do better that way since I'm right handed. And try not to paint it too heavy. But if you do, it's okay, just let it dry. But really, the part that we're most worried about is going to be down here because uh, where the scarf hangs down, we're going to put a little snowflake pattern on it. Okay, so his scarf is done. Next step is a small brush. I'm going to use the same one, and I'm going to use the black. And we're going to paint in his eyes. I don't do well with small little things. My brush isn't good anymore. So just try your best to paint in his eyes. They're so small that if you don't stay in the line, don't worry about it. You can make bigger eyes even. If you have some Google eyes at home, you can even throw Google eyes on them. See, I made mine a little bigger this time. Just because my paintbrush wouldn't let me go smaller. And then don't forget his nose. 
Never want to forget a nose. All right, he doesn't have a mouth, but that's okay. He's not supposed to. Okay. Now, while our scarf is still drying, I'm going to go ahead and do the background. So if your blue sky is not dry yet, wait till it's dry, because now I'm going to take plain white and I'm going to take a flat brush. You can use whatever brush you have, though, and I'm going to make some circles to be like big snowflakes. I'm just going to randomly put them anywhere, but you really got to make sure your blue is dry because see, even mine isn't dry all the way and the blue is coming through and it's making a light blue circle instead of a white one because the blue is lifting up. So wait till your blue is dry and make your circles. And just make them random wherever you want. You may want a lot of circles. You may only want a few circles. I always find the round brushes don't work as good as the flat brushes for this because the flat brush you can lay flat and kind of curve it around. But use whatever works for you. And you might not have the same kind of brush as me and that's fine. Okay, so once you get done making your big circles, now you're going to take your paint and you're just going to make some small circles. So we have two different size snowflakes, basically. We've got big circles and we've got small circles for snowflakes. Just put them wherever you want. However many. Okay, so just like that. And the last step before we're done with the bear is we're going to make him a little pattern on his end of his scarf. So I made a snowflake just because it's winter time and you know, not a lot of snowflakes in the winter. So use the smallest brush you have and just make a snowflake the best you can or something else if you want a different pattern. Okay, and see my red isn't dry all the way either. So my red's coming up. So make sure your red is dry before you do this. Okay. I'm just going to make little dots around it. All right, that is it. I think he is finished. Let me look him over real quick. Yep, he is finished. Don't forget to put your initials on it when you're all done so everybody knows who painted it. And that's it. And I will see you next week. Next week's painting is a snowman. So I'll see you next week for the snowman. Bye.